a major development in the Goshen massacre in Tulare County. Late tonight, the Tulare County Sheriff's Office confirming with KC24 that eight more arrests have been made under Operation Nightmare. This operation is over the execution style killings of six family members in Goshen, including a 16 year old girl and her baby. The killings happened on January 16th. In this latest bust of gang members allegedly tied to these killings, authorities searched another nine homes. That search revealed an illegal firearm manufacturing operation consisted of gang members making and selling ghost guns to other gang members. Meth and cocaine also seized in today's search. Of the eight arrested, seven of them from Visalia, one from Goshen. And since Operation Nightmare began, 26 suspects have been arrested, 106 homes searched, and 23 prison cells searched of known gang members throughout multiple prisons statewide, all related to the Goshen murders. Sheriff Mike Boudreau joining me exclusively tonight. Sheriff, thanks so much. And following this major announcement really tied to the Goshen massacres, 26 suspects now arrested. What comes next? This case isn't even nearly over. It runs very deep. We anticipate multiple arrests in the future. Uh, this goes deep into our prison system as well as drug trafficking operations and illegal narcotics as well as different affiliated gangs. You know, this has been a very extensive and massive drug operation. 100 homes, 106 homes searched, including prisoners' cell phones in prison. Was the Goshen killings all about drug money? This is about drugs, drug money, illegal drug running, and, and uh, illegal firearms uh, coming across into the Central Valley, infiltrating the entire Central Valley. Uh, we we uh, are able to identify future locations in different counties throughout California. And this is the first time we're hearing about the killings and maybe the motive being about drug money here. But this is also possibly a much larger picture when you talk about the drugs and the drug money infiltrating the Central Valley. It's a much bigger picture. We did have this massacre. Uh, we were happy to get the primary two suspects in custody for the slaying of those people. But this goes deeper than that. This goes into our prison system. This goes into different levels of drug trafficking organizations up and down the Central Valley of California. Last question here tonight. Will more arrests be made? We have future arrests potentially coming up very, very soon. I can't talk a lot about what we know. I will tell you, as I've always told you in the past, I know a lot. But we have to protect the integrity of that. I do appreciate you telling the story tonight. And we're trying to make our safe, our, our Central Valley as safe as we possibly can. Sheriff Mike Boudreau, appreciate the time. Thanks so much.